this issue in the past, and I know you have a history with this issue, and it's been something you've been working on for many years. So appreciate you coming here to help uh, educate us on the history of this bill and, and your position on it. Thank you, uh, Senator or Chair and members of the committee. I'm Senator Lori Monis Anderson, and I represent Gresham, Trout, Delwood Village, and Fairview. And uh, this really does not bring back good memories at all, uh, this bill. And I was actually, though, very delighted when uh, Senator Hass's staff came and said, hey, D Senator Monis Anderson, do you want to sign on to this bill? And I said, Ab absolutely. We did have uh, a lot of testimony. And um, my file, because I'm a, uh, back in the 70s, I was a research biologist. So I really wanted to understand the science of this and really spent a lot of time studying it. And some of the issues that uh, Senator Hass already already brought up, uh, let's wait for the study, let's wait for the study. I truly believe that it, it has been studied. And what I was most, uh, what I feel so good about is that the European Union now has banned DECA. Back in 2005, we did ban Octa and Penta, and, or Penta and Octa, whichever order you want. And, um, but, and we tried to also ban DECA also, and we could not get there and it really was a compromise so that we could get 16 votes on the floor and uh, and uh, 31 votes in, in the house so that's why we did not go with DECA last time and that was in 2005 um, the fact that it is a potential carcinogen and the fact that we just passed a firefighter bill this morning th the these are elements in the air that can produce cancer and so I feel it is extremely important for us to move forward um, um, and it is used, it is used in plastic housing for electronic uh, equipment, and I'm sure uh, th those people are here to s testify against this bill. Uh, the polyethylene, um, uh, it's used in the polyethylene for wires, uh, cables, pipes, and textile coatings. But this has been on the books for a long time, and so they are now aware uh, of this. It, is, it isn't going to be new news. This is something that they have known about, and unless we start taking uh, a major uh, step forward uh, we are always going to be able always going to have this in the air I, I it is important to know that uh, Washington State has done an ex excellent study on this and and the three alternatives the RDP um, the BDP and the TPP uh, they're all different alternatives that our industries can use to uh, as alternatives and they are known as safer uh, they are safer they work just as effectively and and they are less toxic and they are also less persistent in the environment. So the fact that Washington, Maine, and the European Union has uh, banned DECA, I think Oregon should be next on the list. And with that, I'll conclude my testimony. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator, for laying the groundwork on this very important issue. Uh, are there any questions for the Senator? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we'd like to invite up a, uh, a panel, actually.